Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about lotion rearrangement. So, what is lotion rearrangement? What will be the reaction mechanism for this rearrangement? What are the different things, uh, different uh, uh, different directions of this rearrangement? What are the possibilities for this rearrangement? What will be the um, chirality, uh, retention of configuration or inversion of configuration like things in this rearrangement? I am going to discuss about all those things. Okay, so keep watching and let's talk about first the basic things about this rearrangement so the basic things about this rearrangement is hydroxymic acids okay this is called r any group methyl alkyl groups uh, may be present right here so r c o n h o s so this is called hydroxymic acid that is uh, that when it, it is treated with one tscl i am uh, taking a tscl you can take other living groups also that will that can form uh, the this that can make this OS a good living group that's why i am taking tscl okay i am showing you in the mechanism uh, section also so this will uh, give the pro, uh, this will make this OS to a good living group and finally by the treatment of base that is you can take OS minus that is NaOS and in presence of water what we get the amine Okay, so first uh, I want to say that uh, like Hoffman and uh, Curtis rearrangement, the Lausanne rearrangement also gives also undergoes with the uh, same intermediate. Okay, so what is the intermediate? You know, if you already uh, learned, you have seen my video about Hoffman and Curtis rearrangement, then you can you, you know about those intermediate that is isocyanate. Okay, I am coming into this. So let, let's talk about the reaction mechanism. Okay, so here it is R say this is O, this is NH, this is OH. So in presence of a base, this will take this ACE and one negative just will form over here. So what we get? RCO, NH, O minus. Okay. And when it is treated with TSCL, so CL is the living group, it will attack the TS, TS section and the CL will leave the system. Okay, so finally what we get? We get this kind of product in after the uh, after this kind of reaction mechanism. Okay, so this is OTS. So this is a very good living group and that's why we are taking TSCL. You can take other things like uh, ortho uh, acyl system or any other phosphoryl uh, intermediate. Okay, whatever you want. But I am taking here OTS. That's a very good, good living group. Okay, so that's why this in the next step what we get we will get the <coughs> okay so in the next step this nitrogen have also the lone pair so this will uh, this lone pair will be on this bond on uh, bond it will form this uh, oxygen will get the negative charge it will come back and this R will migrate to the oxygen sorry to the nitrogen and this living group that is OTS will leave the system okay this is the main rearrangement over here so let me uh, say this again that in the first step oxygen this oxygen lone pair will be on this bond then this uh, double bond that is this pi bond pi bond will uh, go to the oxygen atom and then it will come back and finally this r will migrate to the nitrogen atom okay and the living group that is ots a very good living group will leave the system so this is the rearrangement so then in the next step the product will be this N double bond of course and also H and R okay but this ACE will not be because if this ACE is present then there will be on positive charge so to neutralize this positive charge the negative the hydrogen will detest uh, will uh, leave the system as proton and what we get double bond O double bond N and R this is called the Isocyanate that is also that is forming in the Hoffman and Curtis rearrangement also. This is called isocyanate. Okay, let me write this over here. C double bond O double bond N single bond R. This is called the isocyanate product. Okay. <clears throat> so whatever this this is the intermediate in both all uh, in uh, Hoffman, Curtis, and Lawson rearrangement. In all this rearrangement, this is the intermediate okay in the next step you know what will happen like Hoffman and Curtis rearrangement so this this intermediate that is the isocyanate in presence of water I am showing you two different things look at carefully this will come 
this will go back this will uh, go back uh, to this system and this kind of things will occur okay so sorry that is on uh, more pi bond one more bond over here so c double bond o there is o is suppose we are taking uh, we are considering after deprotonation so then nitrogen and here is r okay so this this neg one negative will form over here and let me write like this and what what proton uh, already leaves the system that will be attached to this nitrogen atom okay so then what we get the product this this is a common rearrangement it is so nh and r so my next step what will happen this decarboxylation occurs so this bond will break and this will go right here then this kind of rearrangement and finally this will be the product as like uh, Oppmann and Curtis rearrangement okay so here that is CO2 leaves the system that is we are calling is uh, this uh, the decarboxylation step and R one nitrogen one hydrogen and one negative charge so this negative charge is neutralized by the proton that is present in the water in the system okay so in what from water if we treat with water or hydrolysis after hydrolysis we get R NH2 that is the uh, desired product that is one amine you know this is the desired product this is the amine that, that we uh, wanted to get the product okay so one more thing about this isocyanate that if we treat if we treat with water we will get the amine of course there is no problem but if we treat uh, with some other things like let's say with another amine with amine the isocyanate is treated with the, with amine then what we get so let's me let me draw the isocyanate first okay and then if we treat it, this with R prime NH2 that is another amine so in in case of water we get the uh, amine product but in case of another amine product uh, with the which we are treating with isocyanate we will get some kind of other product okay rearrangement uh, procedure will be the same so this is C double bond O then this is NHR we are considering after deprotonation to, to be the nitrogen uh, neutralized okay so here n here r so there will be one negative charge over here and after deprotonation what uh, proton leaves the system that will be uh, accepted by this ox uh, nitrogen atom and we get this kind of product okay so this is r prime of course sorry this is r prime so if we write this in the right way so you know this is a urea product so to make urea that is that is uh, that can be used in agricultural product so we can use the lotion rearrangement so this is a very good application of this lotion rearrangement okay so here also from hydroxymic acid to urea we can uh, form urea products we can form okay we can uh, we can generate from by uh, via lotion rearrangement so what is you know that uh, this is this is not actually urea this is the urea product so the general formula of urea is this NH2 NH2 but this is the urea but here two uh, hydrogen is substituted by two alkyl groups so that's why i am calling it the urea product okay so we can make the urea product via lotion rearrangement and one more thing about lotion rearrangement is you know that in lotion rearrangement also from hydroxymic acid that is from r co nh oh so from lotion rearrangement we get the r nh2 this product if i am considering uh, we are uh, hydrolyzing the product hydrolyzing the isocyanate okay so then this r group will is migrating over uh, on the nitrogen atom uh, during formation of isocyanate so this r group if like Hoffman and uh, Curtis rearrangement if this has this is a chiral system so if it has s configuration or it if it has r configuration the configuration will retain in the product also so this r will have the s or this r will have the r so from s to s from r to r so we will call it the retention of configuration retention of configuration okay otherwise the uh, everything will be same okay so like hopman cartis lucen what is the same thing that the intermediate is same that is the isocyanate 
remember this one okay so the, so the intermediate is same sorry uh, this will be r okay so the intermediate will be same this is isocyanate in opman cartis lotion in 3d arrangement one more thing about the uh, migrating group that is r if it has s configuration if it is chiral and it is if it has s or r, r configuration this configuration will be retained in the product also that is in the amine also okay so these two things you have to remember uh, from hopman cartis lotion and that in case of three different uh, reactions the react uh, reaction uh, of course uh, starting materials are different but the products are same that is the amine okay if we consider uh, if we consider hydrolyzing with the water so if we consider the water as hydrolyzing uh, uh, reason then of course the product uh, will be the same that is the amine and the different is from thus from different starting material we are getting the same amine okay so so these three re reactions are same in two directions one is retention of configuration and second is intermediate is same but the different uh, the product is same of course uh, the product is of course also same and then difference is the starting materials are different okay so this is all about the lotion rearrangement and thank you thanks for watching